Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the reactions of acid halides. Um, because acid halides are the best electrophiles out of the carboxylic acid derivatives, it turns out there are a lot of things they can be turned into. They can be turned into all of the other carboxylic acid derivatives and other things besides. Uh, and in this particular video I'm going to focus on the reactions that convert acid halides into the other carboxylic acid derivatives, and then in an upcoming video I'll talk about the conversion of them into aldehydes and ketones and, and other carbonyl compounds and, and, and alcohols as well. So. so I'm going to start first with hydrolysis. So this hydrolysis means reaction with water. Um, and acid chlorides, most acid chlorides are actually just reactive enough to react with water all by themselves. Uh, and, and what everything that I'm telling you about acid chlorides can be generalized to acid bromides and acid fluorides. Okay. And, and this, this reaction here follows the neutral mechanism. Uh, water is a neutral nucleophile. Uh, we don't have any acid or external acid or base present, though acid is being generalized, and so I guess they're being generated. So I guess you could have, um, you, know, you could consider the acid, the acidic mechanism taking over after a while. Acid chlorides do react with base, so, so it is not to say that you know, they don't react with sodium hydroxide. They do. It's just that sodium hydroxide, that base, neither base nor acid is required for the hydrolysis to occur. But the reaction does work under the basic mechanism. Uh, if you supply sodium hydroxide, it, it's, it's going to work. One of the really cool abilities of acid chlorides is their reaction with carboxylate anions. And so you can consider these as precursors to non-symmetric acid anhydrides. Uh, and then the video on the synthesis of anhydrides, I'm going to ex uh, expand on this a little bit more. Uh, but the idea is that if you have some kind of, of carboxylate anion, you know, probably is it sodium salt, actually, let's, let's just do sodium, potassium salt, you know, it, it's an ionic compound. If I counter ion away here, uh, you can get nucleophilic substitution and make the anhydride. And, and R can be a whole bunch of things, and you can make a wide variety of anhydrides, and you can have other R groups out here, and, and it can just be as interesting as, as you want it to be. Okay. And, and this reaction would, would follow the basic mechanism. So we've got hydrolysis, and I actually maybe it's worth putting on here, there's this conversion to carboxylic. Alcohol. Acid anhydrides can also be converted in, or not acid anhydrides, acid halides can also be converted into esters. Uh, and in fact, in the video on the synthesis of esters, we're going to talk about the merits uh, of directly converting carboxylic acids to esters versus converting them to acid chlorides first. Or, um, Very frequently, uh, uh, one of the you know very frequently, this reaction is done with a, a base to absorb to to absorb the extra protons and to uh, you know to to sort of prevent acid building up, which could cause trouble for the for the ester. Uh, <clears throat> This version happens to work out with a lot of, of alcohol nucleophiles, including some that don't work in the direct conversion of carboxylic acid. Uh, and then the other product here is the triethyl ammonium chloride uh, ionic compound. 
And so it's worth noting that this actually follows the neutral mechanism, even though a base is present. Uh, that base is not um, not necessarily basic enough to deprotonate the alcohol and make the alkoxide anion, though certainly alkoxide anions are, are uh, you know, nucleophilic enough to, to do this reaction. And so if you had, instead of, of an alcohol and triethylamine, you had the sodium alkoxide, this reaction would work and it would follow the basic mechanism. In practicality, the, the 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 first version is generally more performed because it, it requires more milder conditions. Yeah. Uh, acid halides react with amines uh, to form amides. And they can react with uh, ammonia, primary amines, and secondary amines. They can't react with tertiary amines uh, because tertiary amines are uh, not uh, tertiary amines are not, you know, they're, they're nucleophilic, but they don't have a hydrogen to remove, so uh, the reaction does not work. So if we have ammonia, and this reaction actually requires two equivalents of ammonia, you can convert any acid halide into its amide. And, and all of these generally tend to follow the neutral mechanism, uh, where you have nucleophilic attack first, loss of leaving group, and then a second equivalent of the amine and the or ammonia serving as uh, a base down the line. If we react with the primary amine, then we get a, a, an amide with one alkyl group on it. Let's, let's, let's do it this way. Not rubidium, but R. Also follows the neutral mechanism. And if we use a dialkyl or we use a, a, a secondary amine or two NH, and we get uh, a tertiary amide. And uh, just to summarize up that if we use a, a tertiary amine or 3D10, and not to get a reaction. Uh, well, maybe no reaction. I actually know enough that, uh, that um, if you're not careful, the kind of reaction that happens with an, a tertiary amine, if you try to force it, is not a substitution reaction, but an elimination reaction. If there's, you know, if there's no other nucleophile, and uh, there's nothing else that can, can happen, you can kind of get this E2-like elimination across the carbon-oxygen across the, 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 the thing, the carbon-carbon the bond and the carbon yield, so you generate this E2-like elimination and you make this thing called a ketene, uh, which is a cool functional group, um, but not necessarily a carboxylic acid derivative, though some people might classify it as less. It reacts with water to form carboxylic acids. It's pretty neat. Um, so it's just worth noting that, that tertiary means can be trouble if there's no other, like like it works up here in the alcohol case, you have another nucleophile around, so that prevents the ketene thing from going on. Or where right, you could you may there's actually a valid mechanism that goes through the ketene and has alcohol attack ketene becomes a, an ester. And the whole the whole whole world of chemistry devoted to ketenes as intermediates, and that is a topic for another day. In the next video, I'm going to move on to the synthesis of uh, carboxylic acid anhydrides. Thank you for watching.